Uh, hello, I'm Robert Fontech. I come from Spain and I'm doing this video for assignment number four of Coursera's course Introduction to Musical Production offered by Berkeley University. And I'm gonna try to briefly explain how to use a gate in Cubase. So I recorded a Nocarina track. I did it with the microphone of my laptop, which is really bad quality as you can hear right now. And I also had the window of my room open while I was recording. Let's hear how it sounds. You can hear all the noise here, right? So to delete this kind of noise, I'm going to use a, a gate. A gate is a way of saying uh, from this threshold down, close the gate and don't let any sound pass. If the sound is louder than this threshold, then open the gate and let the sound pass. Therefore, I come here to the left, I go to dynamics, gate, and here we have the threshold. If I make it really high, you can see that we cannot hear anything because everything is quieter than the threshold. If I make it really low, everything passes back to the noise. So therefore I should leave it more or less here. Yeah. Uh, what else we have? We have the attack. The attack is uh, the time it takes to the gate to open. So for example, if I was here and the gate opens directly, you hear this kind of click like now. And if I make this attack longer, uh, the gate opens gradually and you can hear like the entrance a little bit more gradually. You can see it, right? I'm gonna make the attack a little bit lower. Uh, the hold is how long the gate stays open after the signal drops below the threshold. I'm not gonna use that. And the release is the amount of time it takes to the gate to close after the signal goes under the threshold and after the time of the hold has passed. I'm also not interested in having a big release, so otherwise I would uh, get some of this noise inside. And yeah, the, this analysis is which way the gate is gonna analyze the signal that is coming inside. Peak is for percussive material with lots of transients and RMS is for few transients, for example vocals, this is root mean square. So my ocarina is similar, more similar to vocals than it is to percussion, so I'm going to use mostly RMS. I'm going to ignore this filter part to stay in the common parts of the gate of every DAW. How you see if the gate is working? To do that, you can see the state button. When it's red, it means that the gate is closed and not sound is, no sound is passing. When it's green, it means that all the sound is passing and the gate is open. And when it's yellow, it means that it's half-half. You can also see it here on the right in this input-output matters. When the gate is closed and this is red, the input will be here and the output will be down because I will not less, uh, let any sound pass. When the uh, gate is open and this is green, input and output are gonna be more or less the same. Let's check it. Here it's gonna be, uh, the gate's gonna be open and therefore this is gonna be green and those levels more or less the same. And here the gate's gonna be closed and therefore this is gonna be red and the input is gonna be much higher than the output. The output is actually gonna go down. You see this? How long it takes to this out to go down is also determined by this release. So now if I put some other effects that I did before, You can hear it, sounds kind of okay. An important part of this is when the gate opens, the noise that was recorded while playing the ocarina is also passing. That's why it's always important to try to record with a good microphone and paying attention that there's not any source of noise and mostly if it's necessary, like my window in this case. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please tell me if there's something I can improve. Thank you and bye.